Hello everybody, good afternoon, welcome back to the Dugout Football Channel where football returns this weekend. I don't think I would ever say those words um, again due to obviously what's happened, but football returns this weekend. And I've decided to bring Bundesliga predictions to the channel. So, I'll firstly say off, I'm not an expert on German football, so I can <laughs> safely say that, but uh, I will try my very, very best. Um, and um, yeah, predictions, let's just do this for fun. I've missed doing predictions, so let's do the Bundesliga. Let's do the Bundesliga. So, starting things off, right, The obviously, um, I was looking at the Bundesliga table, so obviously, uh, Bayern Munich lead the way, um, they're four points clear of Borussia Dortmund, uh, so it's Bayern Munich, Dortmund, Leipzig, Borussia Mönchengladbach, Bra Bayer Leverkusen, Schalke, Wolfsburg, Freiburg, Hoffenheim, FC Cologne, Union Berlin, who I know that LSCFC Boya supports, I believe, uh, Frankfurt, Hertha Berlin, Augsburg, Mainz 05, Dusseldorf, Werder Bremen. Now, that's a very interesting one. Werder Bremen used to be a very good team uh, back in the day, um, but they're second bottom, and Paderborn are bottom. Now, there are 34 game weeks in the Bundesliga, and we are at match week 26 at this moment in time. However, Frankfurt and Werder Bremen have played 24 games, so they've got a game in hand. But when that will be played is anyone's guess. So we will see what uh, we will see what happens. But the uh, so basically, let's have a look at the fixtures from the last game week, which was the 6th of March, uh, 2020. So. Um, the scores were Paderborn uh, lost 2-1 to Cologne, Leverkusen won 4-0 against Frankfurt, Wolfsburg and Leipzig were involved in a 0-0 draw, Berlin and Bremen were involved in a 2-2 draw, uh, Freiburg beat Union Berlin by 3 goals to 1, Schalke and Hoffenheim were a 1-1 draw, Borussia Dortmund won 2-1 away to München Gladbach, Bayern Munich beat Augsburg by 2 goals to 0, and Mainz and Dusseldorf were in a 1-1 draw. So there we go. The first game to preview and predict is what a game. I mean, what a game for the Bundesliga to return. The Ruhr Derby, the Ver das Verboten Derby, the Forbidden Derby is Borussia Dortmund against Schalke. Now, this is obviously second versus sixth in the Bundesliga. Borussia Dortmund um, sitting four points behind um, Bayern Munich, which is... I think I think you'd be I think they would be happy to be uh, there uh, there thereabouts at this moment in time. Obviously, they are keeping pace with uh, uh, Bayern Munich, um, but obviously uh, the the big story from obviously Dortmund. I think Manchester United fans will obviously be watching Sancho. Uh, they'll obviously be probably watching Erlen Haaland as well. Um, Haaland has lit it up in the Premier in the in the Bundesliga ever since joining them. Uh, nine goals he's scored so far. For Dortmund, and he was on a very, very good run, wasn't he? So that's that's something else you would you would have to say. Um, Schalke, obviously managed by David Wagner, um, and they're going very, very well. Sixth in the league, looking looking like a very, very good team, and it, it's going to be a very, very interesting game. So, obviously, the first game, obviously, all these games were behind closed doors, so there's not going to be any fans or anything. So that that's something you have to say for that. Um, Looking at this one, I know obviously I've got got a few friends who support Dortmund, um, and obviously we all know we all love that yellow and uh, black wall. Um, obviously, um, at the Signola Duna Park, so I would expect that to be a very very good game. But obviously, obviously no fans etc. So they're going to be very very weird with no fans. But I just got a feeling that Dortmund will want to continue to put pressure on Bayern Munich. I'm going to go for a three one win to uh, Borussia Dortmund in this game. I just got just got a feeling that Borussia Dortmund will want to definitely uh, definitely do what they uh, they they have been doing all season and that is keeping pace with with Bayern Munich. But I'll tell you something, Schalke will be very, very uh, they're a very, very hard team to beat Schalke. So I think Dortmund will win this one. But I'm gonna go for a three one win for uh, Dortmund in this game. And the next tea, the next game to preview is Leipzig against Freiburg. Now, Liverpool fans, I'm pretty sure we will be watching Leipzig because of one man, Timo Werner. I think that's definitely uh, the case. But 
anything else you'd have to say for uh, Leipzig is that they've got some very, very good players. Um, obviously, Werner is, is, is the pick of the uh, pick of the bunch. But I tell you, they've got Diet up up in Meccano, who is a very, very good centre back. Marcel Sabitza uh, as well. Angelino, obviously, on loan from Manchester City uh, as well. Um, Ampadu, on loan from Chelsea. Uh, Emil Forsberg. Yusuf Poulsen, Peter Galacci, obviously ex Liverpool as well. So they've got a very, very good team, uh, Leipzig. Very, very good team. Um, they're sitting third. They're five points behind Bayern Munich, a point behind Borussia Dortmund. Um, you know they're they're doing very, very well. Uh, obviously a no no draw uh, with uh, Wolfsburg last time out, which was disappointing to say the least. But you know, it'd be a very, very, very interesting game, I think, and. Uh, Obviously, they're coming up against the Freiburg side, who are sitting eighth. So this this obviously is a third against eighth. It's going to be very very interesting for sure. Um, you know what? It's 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 very very difficult to uh, to predict. But Leipzig have a decent home record. Uh, there's no doubt about that. They've got a very very decent uh, a decent home record. Uh, that is that is for sure. But I tell you I tell you something that. Uh, it's going to be a very, very interesting game, uh, this one. Uh, I'm just looking to see if, the, if there's any uh, Freiburg players that I, do, uh, I, I could really uh, remember. Um, I, can't, I, can't, I can't really see any, but I just think with Leipzig at the moment, obviously you've got Werner, you've got Forsberg. I think they're a very, very good team. I think uh, Leipzig will win this one. By two goals to nil. I'm uh, as I said, I am given. I am having a wee go at this, uh, for, for sure. Because um, you know the results recently, uh, the Bundesliga, they're very very difficult to predict. But I'm gonna. I, I just got a feeling Leipzig will want to continue their good run recently. Gonna go for a two 0 win to RB Leipzig, and uh, we shall see. What uh, what happens now? We have Hoffenheim against Hertha Berlin. Hoffenheim are ninth. Hertha Berlin a thirteenth. Um, Hoffenheim obviously they have um Andre Kramaric uh, as well. Couple of ex ex uh, definitely a couple of ex uh, Premier League players you'd have to say. Obviously Kramaric was obviously at Leicester City. Very, very good uh, good striker. Obviously, it didn't really work out for him. Sebastian Rudy, of course. Obviously, he was at Bayern Munich. But obviously, he's now at, uh, at Hoffenheim. Um, they've, 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 got, they've got a good, good team. And obviously, um, everyone remembers Roberto Firmino, of course, uh, playing for uh, Liverpool now. But uh, obviously, he was very, very good for Hoffenheim. And uh, yeah, you know, they've got, they've got very, very good, pl uh, good players there. And, um, you know, Hoffenheim, ninth. Sitting ninth at the moment, they're they're, they're doing very very well. Um, I think it's going to be a very very interesting uh, encounter this one because obviously Hertha Berlin, Hertha Berlin obviously thirteenth. Uh, they are six points clear of the um, relegation playoff spot, so they'll want to they'll, they'll want to get away from uh, from that for sure. But obviously, the, um, some of their notable players. Solomon Kalou, obviously Christoph Piatek, obviously he, he was uh, he was linked with a lot of clubs uh, previously as well. Um, Veda Debesevic as well. Um, Marco Gruzic, of course, the Liverpool loanee as well. So looking forward to this one. Looking forward to this one. Um, Dedrick Boyata, of course, ex of Celtic and obviously of Manchester City as well. Some very very good players. In there, Matthew Lecky, obviously the Australian midfielder as well. Um, yeah, very very interesting game. Um, I'm gonna go for a two-two draw here. Um, I, I just just got a feeling there will be goals because obviously Hoffenheim have conceded forty-three, and uh, Hertha Berlin have conceded forty-eight. So uh, Hertha Berlin have got a minus sixteen goal difference, and Hoffenheim have got minus eight. So both of these teams like to concede. But they do like to score as well. Obviously, with Hertha Berlin scoring 32, Hoffenheim scoring 35. So they're not too dissimilar in there. But just got a feeling that there will be goals in that one. Going to go for a 2-2 draw between Hoffenheim and Hertha Berlin. So we'll see what happens for that one. 
Uh, Dusseldorf against Paderborn now. This is a massive game to sort of kick thing, kick start things in the in the Bundesliga. This is obviously 16th against 18th. Obviously, Dusseldorf uh, are in the relegation playoff spot at the moment. Paderborn obviously bottom of the Bundesliga, and um, you know they've obviously got eight. Uh, they've obviously got uh, nine games to save their season uh, as well. So. Um, any notable players for either team? Well, the, the the one that really stands out to me is Matthias Jorgensen. Obviously, everyone will probably know him as Zanka, who used to play for Huddersfield, and obviously he played for Huddersfield in the, in the Premier League. Valon Barisha, another one who's been linked with the, the Premier League clubs in the in the past as well. Um, so, you know, two good players in there. Um, Diego Contento as well. Uh, I think he was at Bayern Munich previously as well um so really really interesting uh, really interesting battle this one uh, obviously Paderborn is there really anyone I know in Paderborn I mean let me just check I, I, I honestly I hadn't really heard of them uh, by looking this up so um but uh, no I just I've got a feeling that I think I think this is a very very close game because obviously Dusseldorf and Paderborn there are two places separating them. Um, Paderborn are obviously six points behind Dusseldorf, so you know you know they could get a win. Then obviously that would uh, improve their uh, it would improve their position. But that, and but having said that, I don't know. It's going to be very very interesting this one. But I'm going to go for a two one win to uh, Dusseldorf here. I just just got a feeling the Dusseldorf will want to get away from that uh, relegation playoff spot and uh, put the pressure on uh, Mainz, Augsburg, Hertha Berlin and Frankfurt who are above them. So I think they would want to put pressure on them. So I'm going to go for a 2-1 win to Dusseldorf. Obviously that would route uh, Paderborn to the bottom of the league and it'd be very, very interesting to see if, they could, if Paderborn do come out of that uh, relegation play or a uh, relegation spot as they as they are with uh, Werder Bremen but uh, we shall see what happens next game is FC Augsburg versus uh, Wolfsburg and obviously we all know about uh, about Augsburg um, some good players some very very good players obviously ex Arsenal player Stefan Lichtsteiner which would be <laughs> very interesting obviously Sammy Kadira's younger brother Rani Kadira uh, as well um, Ruben Vargas Alfred Finbogason as well so so Reese Oxford everyone knows from him about, uh, about his West Ham days as well they've got a good team they've got a very very good team but then again Wolfsburg have got a very very good uh, a good team as well um, now this is really surprising me uh, that uh, you know obviously Veghorst I think he's another one that's been linked with Premier League clubs in the past Kevin Mbabu obviously he really impressed for young boys of Bern if you remember he was playing for them uh, quite recently Maximilian Arnold as well um, you know they've, they've, there's some very very good teams in this Bundesliga and definitely Augsburg and uh, Wolfsburg for sure Augsburg obviously 14th, Wolfsburg up seventh at the moment in at this moment in time. I think they're playing they're playing very very well. I think Wolfsburg are, obviously we all know about Wolfsburg in the past. Obviously they won the Bundesliga a long long time ago when they had players like such as Edin Dzeko uh, as well, ex Manchester City and then obviously a Roma. So you know I think Wolfsburg. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say Wolfsburg win this one away from home. Augsburg have got a decent home record as well. But I just think Wolfsburg will be very, very interesting to see how well they do. Um, so I'm going to go for a 3-1 win to Wolfsburg in this one. Eintracht Frankfurt versus München Gladbach. Uh, now this game is a 5.30 kickoff. Um, so this is the late game on Saturday. There are six games on uh, Saturday. Uh, and uh, obviously um, Dortmund Schalke kicks things off at four at uh, two thirty, and um, Frankfurt Matt München Gladbach uh, is the late game at half past five. So obviously we all know about Frankfurt. We all know about obviously them losing. Uh, obviously Luka Jovic as well. Obviously he went to Real Madrid. Sebastian Haller obviously he's not really done well at uh, at West Ham, but you know it's. Uh, 
I, I think Vine Track Frankfurt to be where they are. They're 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 top place at the moment. Munchen Gladbach they're having a fantastic season as well. Um, but obviously Andre Silva ex um, Leicester City of course. So that's another one you you, you would look at. Um, Kevin Trapp, the goalkeeper, obviously we all know from him, uh, his days at uh, PSG as well. So, you know, there's definitely some players in there. Bastos as well, who used to play for uh, Sporting, of course, and then obviously left uh, after uh, well, what basically what happened. Sebastian Roda as well. Eric Durham, ex Borussia Dortmund as well. Jonathan Guzman. Everyone remembers Jonathan Guzman. Uh, De Guzman, sorry. Um, ex Swansea City, of course. Gelson Fernandez, another one. Ex, uh, I think it's ex Everton, Everton, ex Everton, ex West Ham, uh, as well. So, some very very good players in the in the Frankfurt team. But I tell you something, München Gladbach, they're not a bad team either. They've got some very very good players. They have obviously Jan Sommer, the goalkeeper. Uh, Raphael, the forward as well. Christoph Kramer, Matthias Hinter, Lars Stindl. Breolin Bolo, obviously the um, Swiss player uh, who's, 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 be, who's going to light things up, I think, uh, in the next wee while. Um, so a very, very good, good good amount of players that they have for uh, for sure. Um, but I just think with München Gladbach, obviously, they it's very tight at the top because obviously you've got Bayern Munich on 55, Dortmund on 51, Leipzig on 50, and Borussia München Gladbach on 49 so it's very very close between the top four and um, I just think München Gladbach will go away to Frankfurt and uh, and win uh, I'm just got, I've got a really really good feeling for them going to go for a 2-1 win over München Gladbach uh, for a for München Gladbach sorry I should say so I'm going to go for a 2-1 win to München Gladbach here and then we move into the Sunday games, and it is FC Cologne versus Mainz. Obviously, Mainz being a former one of Jurgen Klopp's teams as well. Um, FC Cologne are, let me have a wee look, they are 10th, and Mainz are just outside uh, the relegation playoff spot, which uh, they are 15th as well. Um, so difficult game to predict there's no doubt about it because obviously you know FC Cologne are doing okay um, obviously Jonas Hector is probably the, the best as well Anthony Modeste I'm pretty sure he was somewhere in uh, the Premier League previously um, Newcastle maybe I think I think of if memory serves me correctly but um, Timo Horn no there's no I, I know people I know people obviously see that uh Timo Horn, the, uh, the the goalkeeper, obviously it's my surname, but uh, he's missing an E off his name, so there's no relation before anyone says that. Um, so that's 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 another thing you could uh, you could say for sure. Um, yeah, Cologne, obviously, I know I know from uh, uh, football is and that is what I want. I think that's his German team as well. So obviously we we'll, we shall see what how how they do. Um, Really, really difficult. Really, really difficult. Obviously, Mainz. Big, big thing in here is that um, on loan Liverpool striker Taiwo Awonyi is on loan there. So, very, very interesting for sure. They've got some good players. Robin Quaison as well. Um, I think people buy him on FIFA quite a lot as well. So, very, very good uh, good striker there. Um, Jeffrey Bruma, obviously the uh, Dutch player uh, as well Ji Dong Wong I think everyone remembers him the the uh, ex Sunderland player of course Adam Salai I think that's how you pronounce it obviously Hungarian there so very very interesting game but obviously Mainz are really really struggling uh, and uh, I've just got a feeling that FC Cologne will win this one going to go for a 2-0 win to FC Cologne uh, in this one and the later game on Sunday is Union Berlin versus Bayern Munich. Ooh, interesting one. Interesting one. Union Berlin are 11th at this moment in time. And Bayern Munich are obviously top of the league. So that's something else. But to be fair, Union Berlin, obviously they've got some very, very, uh, very um, 
good players, obviously uh, notable ones. Obviously, Sebastian Poulter, who had a spell at QPR uh, last season, I think it was. Uh, Nevin Subotic, obviously, of ex Dortmund as well. So obviously, he'll he'll want to he'll want to try and beat uh, uh, Bayern Munich. Um, trying to think of if there's anyone else, and uh, but th those those are the those are the 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 most notable ones as uh, as well. Obviously, Union Berlin, they're doing they're doing okay, eleventh in the in the league. I think they would be happy to be there at this present moment in time. Um, and then obviously we all know about Bayern Munich. I mean, Lewandowski, Coutinho, Alfonso Davis. Who is who's going from strength to strength? Obviously, we've seen a lot of Bayern Munich, obviously in the Champions League. Serge Gnabry, who's on absolutely fire at the moment right now. Um, Thomas Muller, Lucas Hernandez. That team is a very very good team, and there's no doubt about it. But I think everyone is expecting Bayern Munich to win this one. I think they will win this one. Um, but I have noticed that they do seem to be conceding a few goals recently as well, Bayern Munich. So that's another thing for uh, for to say for that one. Yes, but uh, I've just got a feeling that Bayern Munich will be far too strong for Union Berlin. I'm going to go for a 3-1 win to Bayern Munich in this game. Sorry, um, Anthony, obviously LCFC boy. I just I just can't see Union Berlin um, winning. Uh, this one <laughs> against Bayern Munich, but stranger things have happened. Stranger things have happened, of course. Um, so, but um, I'm gonna go for a three-one win to Bayern Munich, and uh, yeah, they would they would remain four points clear had that happened. So that's interesting to see. And the final game of the return to the um, uh, a return. Sorry, a return. To the Bundesliga is Werder Bremen against Bayer Leverkusen. So that's going to be a very, very interesting game. Oh, this is obviously a Monday night game. So that'll be really, really interesting for sure. Um, obviously, Werder Bremen, they're 17th at this moment in time. Bayer Leverkusen are sitting 5th. And again, they're not too far behind uh, leaders Bayern Munich as well. Obviously, coming to Leverkusen first, obviously, they've got some very, very good players. Obviously, um... Bailey, Leon Bailey, very, very good. Uh, Kai Havertz, obviously, as well. Um, very, very good team, Leverkusen. There's no doubt about it. But I never would have thought, right, I would never have thought that um, you would actually say that uh, they would be 17th. But my goodness me, they've had a very, very poor season. Um, I remember when they were very, very good, uh, Werder Bremen as well. I mean, looking at the players that they've got, obviously, Claudio Pizarro, I did not know he was still playing for for uh, Werder Bremen. So there, there we go. Milot Rashica, there's been a lot of uh, interest from, uh, obviously, Borussia Dortmund. I think he's a target for, he's a target for Liverpool uh, as well. Um, very, very good player. Uh, so uh, obviously, he, he's, he's one that's been... Rumoured uh, as as well. Omer Ta Toprak, uh, obviously, I think he was obviously at Dortmund previously as well. Um, Nuri Shaheen, obviously, another one. Uh, very, very good uh, good player for uh, for uh, for Dortmund when he obviously played there. Um, Davy Klassen, obviously, ex of Everton as well. So, very, very interesting. Team. Michael Lang, of course, obviously, um, his... He he's been very very good as well. The the Swiss right back um, Theodore Gebra Salasi. This guy is probably one of the fastest right backs or one of the fastest defenders in the world. He's a very very fast player uh, for sure. So that's going to be very very interesting for sure. Um, but yeah, Bremen having a very very poor season. They've conceded the most goals. In the Bundesliga, 55 have conceded. Um, and obviously, like Paderborn are bottom. They've obviously conceded one less than them. So that's that, that's another thing you could say for uh, for sure. But they're coming up against the Bayern Munich. Uh, but Bayern Munich? Bayern Leverkusen side, I should say. Sorry. Um, Kai Havertz, Paulinho, Ezequiel Pal Pal Palacios, Leon Bailey... Um, Kevin Volland again, another one who seems to be continuously linked with Premier League clubs uh, as well. Um, Karim Belarabi, 
Kerem Dermerbay, Lars Bender, Jonathan Ta, Sven Bender. Um, yeah, it's a very, very good team. Alexander Dragovic as well. They've got a very, very good team. So this game, I can really only see Leverkusen going to Bremen, piling the, piling the pressure on Bremen to obviously try and get out of that relegation uh, zone at this moment in time. I'm going to go for a 3-0 win. A 3-0 away win for Bayer Leverkusen. So that is my predictions. I'm sure you've got better predictions than I do, but I'll go through mine very, very quickly. Obviously, this will be a premiere, so please join in in the co in the in the chat or in the comments. Just let me know. But it's really, really good to be back uh, predicting games as well. So my predictions are Borussia Dortmund 3, Schalke 1, RB Leipzig 2, Freiburg 0, um, Hoffenheim 2, Ber uh, Hertha Berlin 2, Dusseldorf 2, Paderborn 1, Augsburg 1, Wolfsburg 3, Eintracht Frankfurt 1, Borussia München Gladbach 2, FC Cologne 2, Mainz 05 0, Union Berlin 1, Bayern Munich 3, and Werder Bremen 0, Bayer Leverkusen 3. <laughs> um, yeah, some tongue twisters for sure in there, and um, going to be very, very interesting for sure. Just before I go, obviously, um, Bundesliga top scorers. I was having a wee look at this. So obviously, uh, Lewandowski, Robert Lewandowski. So this this is this is sort of the top ten of the Bundesliga sort of top scorers. So it's Robert Lewandowski with twenty five, and Timo Werner with twenty one, Jadon Sancho, interesting, fourteen. Uh, we've got Robin Quaison um, with twelve for Mainz. Sebastian Anderson with eleven for Union Berlin. And then there's a whole host of players on 11. We have Serge Gnabry, Ruben Hennings, Florian Niederlechner. I hope I've pronounced these right. Sorry about this. Marco Royce and Wout Weghorst. So there we go. That is it. That does that for the Bundesliga predictions. Match week 26. Obviously, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Um, and like I said, I'm not an expert on German football, but... It is so good to have football back. Let fingers crossed that everything goes to plan, um, and every and obviously every, uh, that everything goes to plan, and it's just nice to have some football back. And obviously, yes, it'll be weird to see um, teams behind closed doors, but it'll be very very interesting as well. But uh, thank you very much for watching. If you do like my content, then please hit that subscribe button. That'd be absolutely fantastic. Smash the like on this video as well and hit that subscribe button as well that'd be fantastic but uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, we shall see what happens in the first week of the Bundesliga coming back since obviously the coronavirus hit so we'll, we'll see what happens there but uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you all very very soon take care everyone bye bye for now and a big big thank you to everyone as well and also um to our German followers as well, I hope, I, I wish you all the very, very best to get your season back up and running. Fingers crossed it does happen. But thank you very much for watching. Speak to you soon. Take care. Bye bye for now. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs>